What the? Talking about mating. Are you sending a distress signal? I had a few dear people ask, how do I know somebody's really supporting me? How do I know? Because people can be so fake nowadays. So it goes back to that question. A distress signal. We all get them. We all send them out. They're little, they're big. But they're coming from somewhere. They're coming from a from an emptiness in you, from a grayness. And man, your life could be all complete, right? You could have the, the house, the kids, the grandkids, whatever. I mean, set money. You're still an emptiness. Your your hobbies. Damn, you love your hobbies, your interests. But it's all just empty activity. And there's a grayness. And this could happen to anybody at any age. And there's only one reason for that. Oh yeah, this is the first time meeting. I'm Chrissy Salem, Metal Mascara, right here on TikTok. Oh yeah, you gotta check out my profile because it's kick-ass. I got the coolest stuff, most bingeable, most cringe, most sexy. Mm. So if this is our first time meeting, oh, it's good to have you. We're talking about a distress signal. How do I know if somebody's supporting me? I believe to some extent we do have people in our circle that will support us. But there is a limit to that support, whether it's financial, an ear to listen to your problems, I'm not your therapist, right? Some of us are better than others at listening, but too many of us are busy thinking about what to say instead of listening. We talk too much. So this green is this emptiness. What is it? It's a lack of something in your life, something you might have had at one point and lost. It's your dreams and your goals. You know, I know a, 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 I know a great goal is you know, getting the bills paid on time, but that's just not exciting. You know, uh, an, uh, an exciting goal, an exciting dream. We all have them, you have them. Maybe you've had to set it aside because of family, job, career. It's got dust on it, cobwebs. I know it's Halloween, you wanna leave the cobwebs up. But man, take them off your dream and your goals. Because you have them. So I don't know, you know, you may not you may not even know what your dreams are. Yeah, Americans polled when asked, what's your dream? They didn't know. Because they're so caught up in the drama of their life, the drama coming into their life, the drama they used to escape from the drama they deal with all day long. It's a never-ending cycle. Horrible, horrible. And you can see it in the bank account, the waistline, and the romance. So life, all of us, all of us, I don't know who would be excluded. All of us want something better when it comes to money. The way we look. And romantic notions. Three important categories. So if you don't have a dream, you can set goals in those one of those three categories. Or if you're really ambitious, all three. I've tried it, mm, it's a lot of work. I do them one at a time. Oh yeah, if we've never met before, I'm Chrissy Salem, Metal Mascara Channel. Man, that's a YouTube channel, if you didn't know. New show every night at seven, I got the most positive, bubble with me, hard rock and heavy metal. I'll WTF you every time. And I'll get your rear end off the couch. Cause it needs to be up, it needs to be moving. It needs to be pursuing your dreams and your goals. Not drama. Chrissy, what about what's going on in the world? Man, it's drama. You got drama out there, you got drama inside. Man, you turn on your TV and you escape watching drama. Man, you just pile the crap on. And you wonder why your bank account sucks. Why you, why you can't button your pants. Why your romantic options and opportunities are so down. But that's all fixable, see? You don't have to stay there. Who would want to stay there? All this is fixable. You know, I had somebody take me aside and say, Chrissy Salem, you rationalize everything. So I thought about it. Well, but really, when it comes to life, 97% is fixable. Especially us. Watch me, when I say, hey, are you working on yourself? Oh, damn, the hands go up. Oh, everybody's just busy hammering and sawing and just working on a better version of me. 
I talk to you a year later, two years later, five years later. Damn if it isn't the same person. So you're blowing smoke up your rear end. Working on yourself is super hard. But when you do, you know where it's reflected? In your money, in the way you look, and in your romance. All this stuff's connected. So pick one of those categories. What is it, money? You know, the average American works 37 and a half hours a week. That's a lot of fire coming in. Man, get the fire hose. There's a lot of fire coming in. Mm. Oh, man, the hearts are popping up. I see lights going like this. Oh, yeah, I'm grabbing some. I'm grabbing some. Mm. Oh, baby. Just having a great time chilling. Have I been talking about a distress signal? Are you stuck in this grayness, this emptiness? It's temporary. It's a season. You'll be out of it. And maybe today's the day you're going to get out of it. Because so, something, man, all these hearts coming in. Guys, let me talk. <laughs> and, uh, now I lost my train of thought. Let me get back to my bullet points. Thank you, Jesse. Yeah. So this grain is this emptiness. It's a season. It's a time. But maybe something I say today is going to change that for you. Today, damn, you start a brand new season. A season where you're going to make more money. You know, get that bank account good and fat. Who doesn't want a fat person, a fat wallet? Am I right? What about the way you look? There's this crazy cool fitness test. I did a video on it. I'll step up here. And uh, it says when you take a shower, you got to do it by yourself. It's a personal test. And you take a shower, you come out, pat yourself dry. You got to be completely dry. And you go in front of a full length mirror and you go like this. <laughs> and if you're happy with what you see, oh yeah, touch your nose. But 70% of you are overweight or obese, so you're not going to be happy. But that's fixable. Wait a minute, Chrissy, I've got a thyroid problem. I know, you got a thyroid problem, and I've heard this story. You got it from uh, Aunt Sally because she had a generational curse on her because her mother was big boned. That's why you're 200 pounds overweight. What a story. You know, for the people that really have thyroid problems, leave them alone. They're dealing with something. Get back to the real world with the other set, with the rest of us where it's fixable. Or is it romantic notions? Now that's a tough one because so many of you are busy, especially the ladies, mm. making this long, long list of all these requirements after you've been around town. You need to work on yourself. We attract what we are. I know in my life if I've been a jerk, if I've been a D-I-C-K, well, funny, people, places, and things were jerks back to me. And at that time, it didn't all click. But now as I look back, man, that's a lot of fire coming in. It's getting hot. I can't stand still. Hell yeah, people, Chrissy said it's the first time meeting. Oh, it's great to meet you, man. I just came out with an ebook called Soundtrack. This is what we're talking about. ChrissySalem.com, link in the profile. Check it out. Check out my TikTok store. I'm real big into makeup sponges. I know it sounds crazy. Something so basic, so critical to the way you look. And shout out to my to my company. My, I'm an affiliate with Embellish FX. Mm, they got me looking good. And Jesse too. Our foundation rocks. Our concealer rocks. The fishnets I have on rock. Haven't ripped them yet. So that green is so... So what you're missing is a dream, your goals. So you can set a goal in one of those categories. So get ex pick one. There's going to be one you're going to want to do something in. Money? The way you look? DM me. Let me know. Or maybe it's a, I got to finish school. I got to do this. I got to do that. All right, cool. But those other three things are going to stay exactly like they are. If not, get worse if you don't attend to all of them or to one of them. If you want to. I mean, do you want to be broke? Do you want to look like crap? Do you really want to be alone all the time? You know, when you've got a lot of options and a lot of choices, you decide when you're going to be alone. But comes a time, comes a time to many where the options are low and you're kind of tired of being alone. So let's be real. Are you really working on yourself? Because that's a tough one. 
That's the hardest thing of all. It's easy to make money. It's easy to lose weight. It's a B to work on yourself and to really break through and make changes. But you can't, if I can do it, you can do it. People have done it. People have set dreams and goals and achieved them. We all know that. Oh, great example. Great example. Early 70s, four young men. New York. It was a cold, rainy day. They decided they had a dream. They had goals. Do you know the band? You wanted the best. You got the best. Kiss. Oh, yeah. Like them or not, their bank account's bigger than yours, and they've slept with more partners than you have. But to this day, today, festivals all around the world are begging them to headline. So you can have a kiss-sized dream. Oh, yeah. Kiss fans touch your nose. Oh, yeah. You can have a kiss-sized dream with your money, with the way you look, your romance. It all applies. What is it? Write that down. You know, our modern day, the modern day philosopher Socrates, Grant Cardone says, write your goals down when you wake up, before you go to bed and when you're stressed out. Now, for years I've been writing down when I wake up. Normal practice. Before I go to bed, I forget. But this stressed out thing, I said, wait a minute. I got a lot going on. You want me to stop it, right? This guy's nuts. Well, one time I was stressed out and my journal was near me. And I remembered that tip. And I did it. And it took about six or seven minutes. But damn, was I focused the rest of the day. I said, that it works. I've done it many times since. So you got to write down what that goal is. It helps you to focus. Man, then you want to get a vision board. Wow, that's a lot of fire coming in. Mm. I'm getting hot feet. Hell yeah, people, Chrissy Salem. This is the first time meeting. Oh, it's good to have you. I'm a YouTube channel, but I'm also here on TikTok. Mm. Let's harvest those likes. Mm. You want me to have some more hot feet? Oh, yeah. I'm wearing purple today. Prince. Prince is cool. The dude was an artist. Wow. I know I do hard rock and heavy metal, but you got to appreciate an artist like Prince. You ought to see Jessie does a special thing for me where she does the raspberry beret. Mm. But don't tell her I told you. Hell yeah, people. Chris, it's the first time meeting. It's great to meet you. So we've got our goal. We're going to write that down. Got to write it down. And you want to get a vision board. Yeah, guys use vision boards. All that is is you want some pictures of the kind of life you want. And so you go to Walmart or Target anywhere. It's instant prints from your phone. No connection. Get those prints, those pictures, the size of the bank account, the life experiences you want. You know, if you're a lady, you want that six foot tall plus man mm, with all the resources. Oh, and dudes, you want a chick that's hot, right? And everybody in between wants everybody in between. And then go to the school section aisle and grab an Elmer's tri-board, a glue stick, some markers, if you don't have any at home. Now, I've got you in for 12 bucks. Maybe. Could be a little bit less. I hope I'm not breaking the bank. Get that stuff home and put it together. Now you've got your life. You've got your life that you can look at. Now, doesn't that sound exciting? What's more exciting than creating and designing your life? Taking it from where it's at now to what you see in your mind and your heart. Isn't that a great idea? Isn't that more fun to focus on than the drama around you? Than the, than the people complaining at you? Your boss not giving you a fair review? Co-worker gossiping about you? The news, oh shit, the news is horrible. And the weather, damn, and the traffic. When you're focused on your goals and your dreams, all that other crap takes a step back. It doesn't go away. I'll tell you that. If you think you got time of peace, it's supposed to stay like that. Man, you're screwed in the head. Life is chaos and disaster. One after another. You got to find that smooth spot. And that smooth spot is your dreams and your goals. Everything else takes a step back. And the more you get into your dreams, the more you get into your goals, the further everything else takes a step back. And you start winning. Your bank account gets bigger. Your waistline gets smaller. Mm. Your partner options suddenly look a lot brighter but are you gonna do it you know we're so good at telling ourselves I'm gonna start this such and such 
uh, Chrissy's right. I'm going to write this down and do it. But the day comes and we're all guilty and we don't do it. Small little promises look this big. We make them to ourselves. Touch your nose if you've made a small promise to yourself. Touch your nose if you've broken a small promise to yourself. Oh, yeah, everybody's touching their nose. Makes perfect sense. But what happens over time, they pile up. And then you can't see past them. Now you've got no self-confidence. Now your bank account even lacks self-confidence. Your waistline has no self-confidence. And your love life, whoo. Honestly, you settle for what you can get. And that's not what you want. That's the last stuff that you want, but that's what you're experiencing. That brain is that emptiness. You gotta dial in your dream, you gotta dial in your goals. Oh man, there's a lot of fire and hearts coming in. I'm getting happy feet again, hot feet. Mm. So let's talk about sides. There used to be a time, and I was reading this in, uh, in cinematography, history, and Hollywood, that each actor and actress had a, a Hollywood side, and the other side would have a different name. So I said, well, do I have a Hollywood side? I know I have a Las Vegas side. Right, a little bit of shine. I said, Hollywood side, it's got to be this side. That's a pretty good side. Oh, yeah, people, shout out. Chrissy Salem, if we've never met before. Oh, it's great meeting you. Make sure you hit that follow button because you don't want to miss me because I post like a bad man. I upload like a maniac. Mm. Because you know why? Because I'm going up against the cute little kittens. They do the funniest things. And little kids, man, little kids always beat me. But if there's one, it's that singing squirrel. The singing squirrel's always kicking my ass. So don't go look for him right now. Look for him later. But man, give me another like, follow me. Let's show that singing squirrel mm, what we're made of. Because what kind of family does a singing squirrel have? And then who's the metal mascara family? Oh, yeah. Oh, now family should have clothes. Exactly. A man should clothe his family. It's been like that since the dawn of time, right? Caveman would go out, get some skins. We're gonna be busy. To today. Well, today's a little different. Today it's recommended that you go to the link in my bio, T Public, using the coupon code Chrissy Salem, I love you, and get two of t shirts. Because one's gonna be in the wash. Put me on. So when I say power up, mascara rangers, mm, we're letting, we're ready to go. Because you got dreams and goals. And the more you focus on them, the more everything else takes a step back. Because what's more important than your life? The life you see in your mind and your heart. Tell me. Tell me what's more important. Okay. Chrissy, what about God? Faith? Country? Well, of course. But I'm not talking about those things. There's other hosts that are much more adept than I am. I'm just talking about your life. Your dreams and goals. Gave the example of Kiss. Hey, Kiss fans, touch your nose. Gotta do it for Kiss. Oh, yeah, I'm in Chicago. They're coming November 27th. I just got an uh, alert on Spotify. Mm. Gotta go. Now, behind me, you can see I've got a Kiss frame. Because I saw them at the beginning of the end of the road tour, 2019, and then the, the Corona thing happened. Pretty cool. I got Paul Stanley flicked the pick and I caught it. We made eye contact. I was never the same. Oh yeah, people, Christy Sim was the first time meeting. Oh, it's great to meet you. Wouldn't you agree? Oh yeah, you know it. Are you following me? Man, you gotta follow me. And leave a comment, because once you leave a comment, I really know who you are. And then I'll start mentioning you. You'd be like, damn, he's mentioning me 10 times a day. I'm really big into mentioning. Do you like to mention? We should get together and mention sometimes. Mm. Hell yeah, people. Chrissy Salem having a great time. You know it. You know, a change of company. I'm that change of company. A, a change of scenery. You know it. You could check that off your to-do list today. You really did something different today. And we talked about your life. About setting some goals. About getting the vision board. About getting to work on it. About being serious about stopping the little lies to yourself. Because what's more important than your life? Cheers, I hear crickets. 
You know it. You know you want your money to be better. You know you want to look better. You know you want better romantic options. <clears> Hell <throat> oh, yeah, people. Christy Salem, thanks so much for being here. <clears throat> oh, it was great having you, and I'll see you again. Oh, well, Jesse Pump, we put together a playlist. It's in the profile. It's free. But damn, she kind of tells the whole story of how, 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 who she is. Really cool. So proud of her. She's doing a great job. You're going to love the playlist. Oh, yeah, everybody, I love you, and I'll see you again. <clears throat>